What's going on guys? I am True Racer, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do the True Racer self-spin. This is something I have had many, many years of practice doing, and it is successful 100% of the time, 3 out of 10 times. Now, some of you might remember this intense Star Mazda battle I was having here earlier this week, and I performed a textbook True Racer self-spin. So let's kind of go over exactly what I did and how you can replicate it, so uh, hopefully it can help you guys out in the future. Okay, first we're gonna watch this full speed and then we're gonna break it down step by step. Nothing to see here. Okay, so let's break that down with exact sciences. Now, as you can see, I went a little wide in the corner, and the rear end started to kick out on me, okay? And that's that usually spells disaster. Sometimes you can catch it a little bit, uh, but once it kind of gets to a certain amount of slip angle, it's like there's nowhere to go but spinning off to the right and most likely into the wall, okay? Luckily, I kind of put two and two together early on in this, uh, this off-track excursion, so... What I did was the True Racer self spin. Okay, first you got to realize, okay, there's no way I'm going to be able to catch this slide. Okay, so what you have to do is when you're in the middle of the of your imminent doom of going to the right, you got to crank the wheel back as hard as you can, or not as hard, but as fast as you can to try and get a full on tank slapper back the other way. Okay. Sometimes you might be a little too late and you'll just keep spinning that way. Uh, but if you hit it right, you'll get the tanks, the, the tank smacker, slapper, whatever they call it, and you will kind of hook, hook and spin the other direction very rapidly, okay? And as soon as you start spinning the other direction, you have to slam on your brakes, okay? Uh, the reason you slam on your brakes is because that'll lock up all of your wheels and when you do that, your wheels don't have any directional friction involved. They're, all they're going to do is lock up, and the, the momentum of the car is going to carry it the rest of the way. Because the momentum of the car is twisting, that's what it's going to do. It's going to twist and c come around. Hopefully, if you have enough speed, you'll be able to do a full 360 and be facing again. And as you start to come around to face straight again, that's when you want to start releasing the brakes and prepare to get back on the throttle. Okay, another thing to remember when you're doing this is when you're in the middle of your 360 with the brakes locked, you want to downshift to first or second, most likely second, because in the act of doing this spin, you're really overheating your tires, and it's good, you're going to be really loose coming, coming out of the spin. Also, you'll also have that kind of momentum from still carrying through that spin, so you want to be able to make sure to have some good rear grip, so you want to... Keep it in second, if not maybe even third, and then depending on once it gets stable, maybe drop it another gear to go again. Okay, now that you have the exact science behind it all, and it's about as clear as mud, let's take a look at it in slow-mo so you can evaluate each part of the process. have it guys that is the true racer self spin i only lost about two and a half seconds uh from this this maneuver this time but i definitely gained about four or five points of awesomeness so i think i definitely came out on top this time with the true racer self spin nevertheless guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button and until next time stay true and race on